Before we start, you must know that decimal multiplication is any ordinary multiplication. Weight of a 2 liter milk bottle is 2.3 kilogram. Then, what is the total weight of 35 bottles? 35 multiplied by 2.3. First, forget the decimal point. Do simple multiplication. 35 multiplied by 23. We start from right. We take 3 and multiply 35 with it. 3 times 5 is 15. 5 stays here. 1 carried forward to next place. 3 times 3 is 9. We add the carry now. 9 plus 1 equals 10. Now, we would multiply 35 by 2. We put a cross or 0 here before we start. Because we are actually doing 35 multiplied by 20 right now. 2 is 10's place digit. When we multiply anything by multiple of 10, first digit on right is always 0. So, we can just put a 0, or we can just put a cross. Let's do the multiplication now. 2 times 5 is 10. 0 stays here. 1 carried forward. 2 times 3 is 6. Now we add the carry. 6 plus 1 equals 7. So, we first multiplied 35 by 3. Then we multiplied 35 by 20. Now, we would add the products to get answer of 35 multiplied by 23. 5. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 1 plus 7 is equal to 8. Now, where should we put the decimal point? This is the only new thing you need to learn here. We look the numbers taken for multiplication. 35 has no decimal. So, it has zero decimal place. 2.3 has one digit after decimal. So, it has one decimal place. We just add number of decimal places of all the numbers. 0 plus 1 equals 1. It is the number of decimal places in the final answer. So, there would be one decimal place in the final product means only one digit after decimal point. So, we put decimal point here. The final answer would be 80.5. One digit after decimal point. Now, let's multiply a decimal number by another decimal number. Say, price of one pound of this chocolate cake is $7.5. Weight of this whole cake is 6.5 pound. What is the price of this whole cake? Forget the decimals. We will first multiply 75 by 65. We start from right. 75 multiplied by 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 stays here too carried forward to next position. 5 times 7 is 35. We add the carry. 35 plus 2 equals 37. Then, we will multiply 75 by 6. We put a cross or zero here because we are actually multiplying 75 by 60. So, this place would be 0. We can put a 0 or cross here. 6 times 5 is 30. 0 stays here. 3 carried forward to the next position. 6 times 7 is 42. We add the carry. 42 plus 3 equals 45. Now, we add the products. We multiplied 75 by 5. Then we multiplied 75 by 60. If we add them, we will find answer of 75 multiplied by 65. 5. 7 plus 0 equals 7. 3 plus 5 equals 8. 4. Now, where would the decimal go? Look, in 7.5, we have one decimal place. In 6.5, we have one decimal place. So, total two decimal places means the final product would have two decimal places. There would be two digits after decimal. So, final answer is 48.75. Two digits after decimal. 7 and 5. This cake costs $48.75. So, just do simple multiplication. And then put decimal at right position in the end. Simple steps. Here are a few problems you may face while doing this. 0 0.15 multiplied by 0 0.12. 15 multiplied 12 is 180. Two decimal places in 0 0.15. Two decimal points in 0 0.12. So, there would be four decimal places in the product. 
but we have only three digits. We add zero before it to increase digits. Now there are four digits. So the answer would be 0 0.0180. 0 0.15 multiplied by 0 0.012. Two digits after decimal here. Three decimal places here. So answer would have 2 plus 3 equals 5 decimal places. Means 5 digits after decimal. So we add two zeros before it. Please don't add zeros after the product because that would change the value. Adding zeros before a number doesn't change its value. So, answer would be 0 .00180. So, add number of decimal places of all the number you multiplied to get number of decimal places in final product. Hope I could help you. Have a nice day.